Okay, it's trade deadline time in Chicago. Now, of course, they've lost Derrick Rose for the season. Again, they've already sent Luol Dang out of town. So what are they thinking now? The thought right now is it's time for a serious retooling. Not a major rebuilding, but a retooling. The core is Derrick Rose when he comes back, Jimmy Butler, Joe Kim Noah, Taj Gibson. At this point, everybody else is expendable, though, and I think the Luol Deng trade showed that. Well, I didn't hear Carlos Boozer's name. Is this punishment for putting that Sharpie on his hand? <laughs> it's not punishment, but he does have a big contract, and we're looking at a summer here where the Bulls are going to have to seriously reevaluate their cap situation because this is a team that hates, hates, hates paying the luxury tax. So, mm -hmm. very strong possibility that they're going to use the amnesty clause on Boozer, get him off the cap, and if they can trade a guy like, say, Mike Dunleavy in the meantime, too, they could have like $18 million in cap room to spend. So, this is a time for the Bulls to start reassessing and kind of loosening up to, uh, to make some moves. Okay, now, if you are the Bulls GM, uh, after you remove all pictures on the internet of Dennis Rodman in Chicago Bulls gear, what do you do this trade deadline? If I'm at the trade deadline, I'm a seller and not a buyer because as we've established, my owner does not like paying the luxury tax. So somebody wants to make a play for Mike Dunleavy, Kirk Heinrich, those are guys who could be valuable certainly to some other playoff teams out there. But other than that, I'm kind of waiting and let Derrick Rose come back healthy, get to the summer, amnesty boozer, bring over Nikola Miritich, sweet shooting forward who's ready to come in and fill that role, and I'm off and rolling again next season. I hear rumors of this sweet shooting. I, I'm ready to see some sweet shooting. I've seen no sweet shooting.